Okay, so it looks like we got some brand new trailers here for Suicide Squad Kill the Just League. I wanted to check them out with you guys. We got a character trailer for Harley Quinn, and then just recently now they dropped a new trailer for King Shark. Originally, I was going to wait for them to drop all four of the character trailers, but they're kind of doing them sporadically, so I don't know when Dead Shots and Captain Boomerang trailers are going to drop, but we'll do reactions for those in the future as well. I'm glad at the very least that there's not going to be another massive gap between new content being dropped online for this game. We actually are getting a steady pace of marketing okay up first here we have the harley quinn trailer let's check this out harley quinn she's a mad one woman show who takes nothing seriously okay but she's useful swings hard shoots fast you cannot say it's a pretty game moves like a trapeze artist and never shuts her mouth damn there's a lot going on sentences here or is there like a ceremony thing is she might be exactly okay what we need if I don't blow her head off first. This is wild. Oh my here. god, that looks crazy. As long as they find a way to kill the Justice League. Oh, hey, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, interesting thing to note, um, this, to this moment we've seen before in a different time of day. Now, I think we know from what they have shown in the gameplay, it looks like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is going to have an actual day-night cycle. That's something that people have wanted in superhero games for a very long time. So yeah, we're probably going to be having a day-night cycle with this game, but also there's going to be different dynamic weather that takes place during the day-night cycles that happen as well. So I mean, this moment here could look completely different when you actually play it. I think that's kind of cool. I can't lie. If you think so too, hit that like button. Now let's get to the King Shark trailer. Okay, official King Shark trailer. Here we go. This is King Shark. To his people, he's a god. He's oh, incredibly strong and surprisingly intelligent. Damn. Thing is, he's also gullible and naive. <laughs> we should team up. Oh, she looks so good, dude. No mercy. The design for Wonder Woman is insanely good, man. He can jump around Metropolis like nothing you've ever seen. Oh, satisfying. Can go toe -to -toe with super <laughs> oh, man. To work together, they might just have what it takes to kill the Justice League. Okay, but not actually, though. I don't want to... I don't want to actually kill them, though. Okay, the Harley trailer was good, but King Shark's trailer was crazy hype. You can even see right here in the background, that's a little Green Lantern helicopter projection or something. I wonder what that's about. Maybe he's going to be projecting different enemies that you have to face off against throughout the city. That's pretty cool. I'm still scared that they're going to actually have us kill the Justice League in this game. I really, I, I do not want to do that, Rocksteady. He's jumping in front of the Hall of Justice. He's got a little uppercut, so there's some melee in there. Again, I'm still sad, though, that there's not going to be a proper free flow combat. But hold on a minute. Wow. I, wow. That is such a good design for Wonder Woman, man. This is part of the reason why I don't want to kill the freaking Justice League. I want to play as these characters with these sick looks this is straight up one of the coolest designs i've ever seen for wonder woman I, I know some people give me crap for speaking in hyperbole but i mean look at it plus i think we got a glimpse here from this trailer at the actual green lantern boss battle there was like a giant green lantern projection how do we take these guys down and <laughs> how do they expect us to take these guys down if anybody to be honest can to go toe to toe with them it would be king shark and oh baby Superman looking good too. This is one of my favorite designs for the character as well. Holy smokes, he looks so good. And there it is. I think that's the Green Lantern boss fight. At least it looks like a glimpse at it. I really wonder how Rock City is going to be taking in the feedback that they've gotten from Arkham Knight for the boss battles in that game or lack thereof. Because I mean, what better way to kind of upgrade the actual boss fights than to fight some of the greatest superheroes to exist in comic book history. It's an interesting idea. The only thing that I'm a little cautious about is whether or not we're actually gonna kill these guys. I just hope if we kill them that there's some way we can bring them back in the future. Cause I understand, you know, the game is called the Kill the Justice League and in some way you kind of want to honor that title. But I really hope it's not gonna be the case that we kill every single member. Cause that'd be insane. Anyway. Anyways, there you have it the harley quinn and the king shark trailer here for suicide squad kill the justice league with that being said let me now kick it to you guys sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below out of the two of them which one did you like more and of course make sure you are subscribed to this channel and got those notifications on for more updates on this game with that being said i've been caboose i'll see you guys later